Well, uh, as in an earlier video, I put these in my range hood, these uh, LED lamps, but uh, <laughs> quality uh, not as good as I thought. About three months in use, and uh, somehow they both popped at the same time. We had no power spike, but they're uh, very dim. So I'm gonna strip it apart and uh, see what the what the issue is, but it's flickering, so my gut feeling is it might be a capacitor that's gone faulty. I'll just energize the other one shortly. Here we got the other one, doesn't respond at all. Arcing at the terminal, so we'll have a look what's wrong. Interesting arcs. Could be rectifier fault or something, who knows. Energize the device. Just by having a bit closer look at these lamps, some LED chips look a bit darker. These are lighter, these are a bit darker on that side, same on this particular one. So I'm not sure if that's fumes from the range hood, but uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna hex all these open carefully. Okay, I've opened the lamp up. It reveals a upper capacitor, a rectifier, and a DC electrolytic, and a couple of resistors. So I just need to have a look uh, where the problem is. It looks all okay. Interesting the so-called quality control on these Chinese fittings. Um, I just soldered one of the leads off. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it got a little end there that's supposed to be the neutral. Well, on an Edison fitting, um, on the Edison fitting it's supposed to be on the threaded end, but that neutral one is on the center end, which is supposed to be the active, the live terminal, which is uh, here, marked as an L, and that is going to the, yeah, to the metallic uh, outside. Yeah, start taking it apart, i got a few strips out, this looks a bit suspect here, a castor on the inside, looks like it burns a little bit, so... I'll just go a bit further. These LEDs come on little strips like this. One of the LEDs doesn't look too good, but uh, yeah, they come on little strips and they got a positive and a negative uh, marking on them. So yeah, I'm just going to analyze a bit more. Well, my thoughts were right. What I thought, typical Chinese rubbish. Okay, you get a flame, flame rate here that runs on 50 cycles. Um, these particular LEDs, which I thought so, they were a bit darker. They have, uh, some chips have been damaged. Uh, firstly, the capacitors are overrated. It's an 800 nano or 820 and a 1 micro, so that's two microfarads in parallel. The only current limiting resistor, I think, is this tiny little 270R, which is up to specs. And then look at these other little things here. There is a couple of 1 meg, 105 SMD, little chip there, and there's a chip there. Well, that's never rated for like 240 volts, so peak value of 325 for discharging the caps. So, it's a poor design. Um, on these particular LEDs, all the pixels are glowing. I'll, I'll just put a capacitor as parallel so it's, uh, you get the DC a bit better. Well, we still have a little bit of surging, but you can see, uh, see three pixels per LED segment. And I'll test now one of the faulty LED ones. Okay, we go through the cycle. As you can see, the two middle ones, uh, only one pixel is going. And uh, the reason the lamp didn't work, this particular strip underneath is not responding at all, so that's gone open circuit more or less. So basically, the way the lamp is designed, the inrush current is too high, it should have been limited better with an uh, adequate series resistor. Okay, I've done a small modification here. Uh, these E14 bulbs, as shown in the video, they were just a disaster. Doing the test run, I'll uh, put two LED strips in here and I'll show you the power supply. So, yeah, it works quite effective. In essence, I didn't want to dick around too much with the fitting, so I made an E14, that was an Edison screw adapter with uh, two wires coming 240 volts to a connector here. And I've got a small power supply in this box here, so I'll show you what I've done there. Here we've got a small 240 volts to 12 volt transformator, a 315 milliamp main fuse, 315 milliampere, and a bridge rectifier which furnishes the LED light strip. So, I've had this for a test run for a while and it runs perfect. So, the lights itself do about half an ampere at 12 volts. 
Okay, power supply in place. I put a little uh, splash cover over it just in case something leaks. Okay, everything is in place. We energize the device. So that is the strip sitting in here. And I've got the two diffusers here which are going to fit shortly. And there's the final result. I'm actually very pleased with it. So these stupid Chinese fittings I uh, got rid of. And I fitted the two LED strips, 12 volts, 250 milliampere. Thanks for watching. Final test here. Energized device. De energized device. Energized device. And de energize.